Welcome everyone to this week's Skippy Trank Guide at Mid Ohio. It's uh, I haven't been around here in the Skippy in a very long time. It's been at least three or four seasons, but it is quite a fun track. There's not many straights. Uh, there's a straight after turn one, and that's really oh, and this back straight just down here at the end of this corner. I forgot that one. So after turn two, I think it is. Um, but yeah, otherwise, really complex uh, back end of the circuit that's coming up around this corner. Uh, re really, really nice corner. Possibly my favourite corner in iRacing racing, and then followed by one of the <laughs> one of the worst corners in iRacing racing, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, it's it's really nice when you get it right. When you get it wrong, my goodness, it ruins your lap. Uh, anyway, on about the lap, I think I might need to get rid of my head because it's really, really low down. To be honest, we were mid to low thirty sixes quite often, and then I'll get rid of my head. And then right down there at the bottom is a 135.805. So that'll be the lap I will be showing you. Uh, get me head back for you. There we go. Info for you guys. Track temperature is 80 Fahrenheit. I will put that above my head. Oh, let's do that in the front of my back there. I'll put it. And the track usage is 45%. As I say, that is moderate usage. So if you do see that in the race session, it's usually about 50% and higher. So I normally go a little bit lower just to... Uh, make sure i do set a competitive time uh setup will be in the description as always and the link to my discord will be on there as well where i've got the olap b lap and the telemetry file which i think does include the spin but it's not on a full lap so if you do find that on the tail end of the telemetry there's a big spin in there for you uh otherwise i think that's everything to mention um yeah let's go on with the guide Right then, mid-Ohio, and turn one is absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoy this. Uh, what we're hunting for is just before the 100-meter board, you want to sort of stab the brakes, but don't lift off the throttle. Really weird. I found that was the uh, best way for me to get around anyway. Avoid this yellow curve that splits you and the pit lane exit, and be very careful of cars. It can be very off-putting, and don't run too far wide here. Touch the grass, and it is an off-track bit of a killer. So, nice long straight now, down to turn two, and uh, it's going to be a good overtaking opportunity but i wouldn't do it i would save it for after turn two turn two we're looking for the 200 meter board and we're breaking just slightly after it all the way down and as the road sort of cresses over we want to rotate the car really really late apex here that i completely miss so i kind of want to get to the curve about now you can see i'm getting on full power and i do push a little bit wide here you want to get in a little bit earlier and get a better exit than what i do again another long straight and this is where you want to get your overtake done so don't bother into turn one get a good exit out of turn one and sort it out be careful you want to get the first set of cones that we just gone past you want to mid track because the track does come into you if that makes sense um it's a little bit of a kink so be careful if there is someone on your right hand side there might not leave enough room 200 meter board now coming down in turn four again really nice corner and you want to keep the brake in and ease off and get into this nice slightly cambered bit nick a bit of curb it's not too bad stay mid track for the very tricky turn five now i stay very wide and just before the tarmac change when i start braking really really late apex here because you don't want to be pushing this corner it's got a really like humpback bridge over it effect so you really do understeer stay in second gear for this turn six just a big big lift nick a load of curb and i short shift into third now just to minimize the rear wheel spin that we might get cut this corner doesn't really count this one so crack on and get on with it stay mid track over the crest again and we've got this lovely little sweeping right hander here and this is turn nine absolutely fantastic by far my favorite one we're aiming for this curb and then as we get onto the curb and off it we're lifting bit of brakes and getting the car turned in again it's over a uh, little crest so be careful of understeer about this point use the curb on exit and we're hunting through 10 and 11 now 10 is basically this one just here and we're setting up for turn 11 10 11 is very tricky to get right and very easy to get wrong we're looking to be under the 200 meter board but the barrier nips out so be very careful of that slight lift turn in counter the uh, oversteer that skippy loads of curve and you can see where we can easily get it wrong because there is the exit of the track and this is the most awkward corner I ever find. Again, another little crest, just as we approach it, we break in nice and gently now, downhill, second gear. I leave it in second, don't worry about first, I found it just rotated the car too much. Nice late apex, because we want to be on full power as soon as we can. And the last corner is a little kink that we don't even need to worry about, it's just an acceleration loan to get to the line as quick as we can. So that is the lap over and uh, it disappears quite, quite quickly. And that is us across the line in a 135.805. I, uh, yeah, haven't been around here in the Skippy in an awful long time, but it's uh, very, very enjoyable to be honest. Again, that uh, 
straight after turn two is going to be a bit of a slipstream fest but at least you got the twisty bit towards the end of it well i say most of the track is twisty at least there's a chance that you can actually run away and break the toe uh, I, I from what i can remember i had good racing here i swear it hasn't been on the skippy calendar for about three or four seasons maybe even more than that but yeah i enjoy this and uh yeah fingers crossed for some good races otherwise thank you very much for watching as always the full pace laps are to follow and i'll catch you on the next one cheers guys bye bye